this is a freshly milled gcam bridge graphene bridge you can see it is with the connectors still it is with the connectors uh, this is an implant supported bridge basal implant supported bridge cement retained and if we can observe it has got second molar also both in this is the upper one this is the lower one second molar also in durable bridge we can include second premolar provided you have given pterygoids in upper one however lower second molar uh, sometimes it may create cheek bite so that we should be careful about that upper second molar it won't create any trouble only the lower uh, second molar if the patient is asking for second premolar we can provide and the important thing is if you see this is the upper bridge it is positioned in the blank close to the outer rim whereas the lower bridge is not positioned close especially the upper canine to canine the upper canine to canine of upper bridge they are aesthetically important they are, they are positioned close to the outer rim because it is close to the <coughs> drills this outer rim is close to the drills so there is something called 90 degree milling so if we employ the 90 degree milling in CAT CAM machine the upper canine to canine contours will come very much beautifully if this location is nested positioned somewhere else the anatomical contours you won't get properly for example if you see the lower uh, the anatomy is okay but not it is very much accurate we have to you know, use the burst to give a uh, reshaping <coughs> So only upper we can try this, do this 90 degree milling. You will get the anatomical contour beautifully. So this is the problem, inbuilt problem in CAT CAM milling. However, if you go for 3D printing, it is not a issue. It will come very much beautifully the contours. So only in CAT CAM machine we have to employ this 90 degree milling to get the good anatomical contour on the labial aspect. Otherwise you won't get it.